Makai, first, just how, how good did it feel to come back and, and get a win after your previous game? Um, I mean, it felt great. We believe taking every, um, every game one game at a time. So last game was last game. We flushed that down the toilet. So we just preparing for the next two, and we had to win this one to get to the next one. So I think it felt great. Well, talk about y'all's defense. I mean, y'all really. I mean, normally you play good defense. You guys really ramped it up today. Yes, sir. Um, I can say our past like games. I feel like we weren't connected, but tonight I, I felt like tonight was special. Like everybody just was on the same page. We all was connected together. We was talking a lot. I think that was the main thing. We communicated a lot and was just flying around. So I think tonight was just special. No, and I mean, this was like a 10 point game with like 14 something left. And then, but you guys just kept attacking, attacking, attacking. And it didn't seem, I mean, you guys seem to be like, you know, if we got a foul, we got a foul. So what? We just could attack, attack, attack. Um, Just, I think that's just being aggressive. Uh. Throughout the whole game, we was aggressive. We weren't making shots, so the game was a 10-point game. But we, we kept being aggressive, and we just picked it up on the defensive end, and that's how we got our points. So just staying aggressive on the defensive, I think that was the uh, major key. Yeah, 30, 34 points off of turnovers. Yeah, that's, that's, a, that's a pretty good way to score points. Connor, anything for you? Yeah, so it was the first double-digit scoring night since Lamar on January 29th. So tell me about that a little bit, what went into tonight. Um, I just feel like it's just just playing every day. Uh, just staying composed, um, letting the shots, the shots. Like Coach Tanner always tell me, just let the shots come to you. Don't force shots. So I think that's what really happened tonight. I just was out there defending and just being comfortable. And I just start, shots just start going in. What are your thoughts on the final game on Teague on Saturday? How do you feel about Teague? Um, Teague is a special place. Uh, a lot of people don't like it, but this is this is a special place. It's gritty in here. It's really hard to win in here for a lot of teams. So um, Saturday night has, hasn't really hit me yet. I probably will start feeling the emotions a little bit more tomorrow or Saturday, but it hasn't really hit me yet. Coach, just tell me about your opening thoughts for tonight with a big one. Yeah, you know, I was proud of the guys. I was really worried about this game I, I, just because I, Dixie State's really good. I mean, you're talking about a team that, that has beaten some really good teams. I mean, they, they've beaten, you know, uh, some of the top teams in this league, and they've been playing their best basketball. I've been telling the guys that. And, uh, you know, we know Saturday's a big game for, for a lot of reasons, and it's the last game at the Teague Center. It's senior night. Uh, I think there's, there's a lot, you know, that, that's attached to that game, uh, seating-wise and different things. And so uh, – I was worried about our guys maybe uh, looking past this game a little bit. Um, and so I, I've, I coached these guys really hard this week, probably too hard. Um, but so I'm really proud of how they responded. You know, I, I didn't think we started the game real well, um, but I thought we had some guys come off the bench that were, you know, amazing tonight. You know, like Makai was obviously really good. He was in the starting five. But, um, you know, now our energy was there. Our defensive energy was there. But just we had some guys that just, you know, shots weren't going in. And we, I don't know, it just wasn't there. And so we brought Manny off the bench. Manny was great, I thought, in the first half, you know, with his energy and, and what he brought uh, to the offensive glass and making some big baskets. And, you know, we brought Tobias off the bench tonight. I mean, Tobias was plus 30 in the game tonight. That's unbelievable. You know what I mean? When you, when you think about that. Uh, the dude played 20 minutes and we're plus 30 when he's in the game, uh, which is why he's normally a starter. We, 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 we took him off the bench today for matchup reasons and things like that. But um, I just was really happy with what the guys were able to do tonight. Um, you know, that was a big lead. Um, we let it slip at the end. It is what it is. I'm not worried about the final score. But I, I was proud of them for the effort that they brought, um, knowing, you know, what was ahead, you know, afterwards. Yeah, and what what did you see from Dixie State heading into this game? You played back in January, and then you faced him again in March. Yeah. Were you worried about that at all? I was really worried about that. And, and, you know, the biggest thing was I thought I didn't feel like we played real well down there when I left Utah. But then I go back and I watch the game, and I'm like, man, we played really well. And they just they just are hard to score on. I think, you know, they're one of the better defensive teams in the league in terms of scoring defense. Um, I have a ton of respect for Coach, man. He, he does a really good job. Um, they they run the clock. I mean, they, they work the ball. Uh, and then defensively, they're solid. And they we tried to attack middle, and they would not let us attack middle. I mean, those guys are really good defensively. And so it's hard to score. And so I told our guys, man, that, that – I, you know, the reason we won down there was because we turned them over, you know. Um, and I'm watching their Seattle game the other day, and it's like, you know, it's 5-2 to two at the 12-minute mark. You know, like, and I told them, if we, want, if we don't want that, we want that to be 18-2. to two. If we want to do that, then we're going to have to get out there and turn them over and score. So you've got a shot for 20 wins on Saturday for the fourth year in a row. What are your 
thoughts on that in the final game of the Yeah, numbers don't matter. Uh, it really doesn't, man. And I know that sounds whatever, coach speaker, whatever, it doesn't. Uh, I've said all year in here, man, that, that you know, we're trying to have a great season. And uh, no matter what happens the remainder of this year, we've had a great season. Um, we've had some big wins. We've had some tough losses. We've bounced back. We've, we've fought through adversity, man. We've, you know what I mean? We, we've done a lot of good things here, man. Uh, I think we've won – I don't know what the number is, but, you know, since our, you know, we won 11 straight and I think we're like 10 and two or something right now, you know, like uh, since that point. And so we've had a great season, uh, no matter what happens Saturday, no matter what happens in Vegas. Um, and that's all we're concerned about, man. And we would love to finish it, but it has nothing to do with a number. It has to do with me wanting to send these seniors out the right way. Um, what these seniors, and I, I want to say this, I really hope that, that people come out and, and, and support this team on Saturday. Uh, this senior group, you know, um, Reggie Miller, Corian Mason, Makai Morris. We, we know that their time is done here. Um, you know, and then we got Tobias Cameron and Damian Daniels. What those five guys have done, not only for this basketball program, but for this university, um, is unbelievable. They have put Abilene Christian on a national stage. This is the best run in the history of a ACU basketball, no matter what we do from this point forward. And so, I mean, those guys will always be remembered. If I have anything to do with it, those guys are Hall of Famers here one day. Um, just because of what they've been able to do. Um, I, I'm not standing here right now in front of you without those five seniors, you know. And so um, I hope people come out and support them. Uh, I, I hope they come out and they're loud, and I hope we can come out and we can play worthy of, of, of the career that those guys have had here. Yeah, we, we, you know, we've been able to do that lately. That's why we've been able to win some games. I, I think we've been in the 30s, and uh, we've been doing a good job. You know? um, but I think we were only four steals off of our Lamar game. You know? So we're four, only four away tonight from, uh, from the school record that we set uh, last week. And so um, a lot of that came in that big spurt in the second half. Uh, we had a pretty, pretty spirited timeout you know, uh, before that because I thought we had kind of you – know, we lost the first four minutes of the second half. Um, and then – we talked about it a little bit, and then they came out, and there was a little energy, and uh, that was obviously part of Tobias's, you know, plus 30 minutes. Um, and those guys just, we turned them over, turned them over, turned them over, got buckets, got buckets, got buckets. And so that little stretch right there, I thought, kind of solidified the win and made it a little bit more comfortable. But the defense was great, uh, but we expect great defense. Uh, offense comes and goes. But if you'll play defense that way, you'll give yourself a chance every night. Yeah, Arion was, you know, Arion was struggling offensively. Um, and it's been a while since he's done that. And so, uh, but I thought, you know, in the second half, defensively especially, he, he did some good things. And uh, he fouled out. That's my fault. I mean, I, the, my, my whole staff and everybody's telling me he's got four. Um, you know, the game wasn't over at that point. But I really, he was playing so well. I had called a play for him. To put the, and so I wanted to run that play. And then we had a sub at the table. Unfortunately, we ran that play. We came down, he goes for a rebound and fouls out of the game. And so that's, you know, that's my knucklehead, you know, uh, fault. But, but he was great second half. I, I was proud of him, the way he was able to bounce back after not having a particularly good first half. I thought he played really well in the second. Coach, the one for me, you talked about not being able to get to the middle. Cam Steele, Makai Morris, and Emmanuel Allen tonight. It looked like they were really happy just kind of taking what the defense was giving. What did you see from Yeah, that? no question. And, and, you know, with Cam, when Cam's stat line, doesn't matter how many minutes he plays, when Cam's stat line is good, we usually win the game, you know, and, and that's – and it doesn't mean he has to have double-digit points. It just means, hey, he was two for two or he's two for three or he had six rebounds. And uh, Cam's a really good player. I just need to get him to understand that, you know, and, and his teammates believe in him. Um, you know, uh, when we put him in the starting lineup today, it was – everybody was like, yeah, let's go, you know. And, and so uh, I was really proud of him. I thought I thought him, Emmanuel Allen, like you said, Emmanuel Allen, uh, I thought Manny was great, man. The energy he gave us in the first half was, was just – I think it was saving. It, it saved us. I think – Without Emmanuel Allen in the first half, I don't know if this game comes out the way it was. And so, uh, just that's – I've been missing that Emmanuel Allen, you know, the last couple games, I thought. You know, um, I told Makai, I told the team in the locker room, I've been missing that Makai Morris. Now, Makai's been great all year. But, like, the Makai I fell in love with was the dude that was out there guarding the basketball, getting in passing lanes, diving on the floor for loose balls. We've always known he can hit threes, you know what I mean? And so, uh, to me, it was – that's – all those guys were great. But uh, we, we, we talked a lot this week about getting the ball in the paint throwing the ball inside. And I thought those guys did a good job. Even YG when he was in there and Faraha and, and, and when he was in there, I, th I thought all of those guys and our guards did a great job of throwing them the ball. You guys have four guys in double figures tonight your last two games in this building. You've had 
turnovers? Yeah. Man, I hope it's that way. You know, I just – unfortunately, we got a really good opponent coming in here, man. Uh, you know, we got a hungry dog, I think, in Tarleton coming in here. And, and uh, you know, they're going to want to finish their season on the right the right way too, you know. And, and so we're going to have to be locked in. And we're going to have to be ready to go. Uh, we know it's going to be an extremely physical game. Um, and so um, I was – I'm fortunate – I was glad we were able to, you know, Keep the minutes down on a lot of guys. I let Makai play too many minutes, but that's because I was enjoying watching him play. Um, and so I kind of got caught up in it. But um, it's, you know, this place has been really special, man. And, and when, we, when we started this thing at Teague, um, I did not know that I would be emotional when we walked out of here. And, and I can promise you I'm going to be emotional on Saturday. Number one, for the seniors, but also because of this building. Um, you know, what, what this building has done for us, it saved us. We didn't have to go play games, you know, it, 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 another school in town. Or, you know, we didn't have to put, put bleachers in a rec center. You know, and so what everybody here at ACU did, the athletic staff, uh, the students that helped us, all the athletes that helped us put it together. I mean, the tennis program letting us steal their building for two years. Uh, they thought it was going to be one, you know, it turned into two. Um, and not only did they let us borrow their building, heck, they're, the, they're out here at every game, you know, loud as anybody in that gym. And so I'm so thankful to the tennis program and, and Juan and everybody. But um, I, I hope, you know, it's going to be a tall task, but I hope we can finish this thing the right way. Thank you, guys. Appreciate it.